All right, guys, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So now I've got to do this horrible stealth section. I hated so much. I hate Filch and I hate his stupid cat. I hate them both. Creepy bastard, isn't he, Filch? To be honest. I mean, should he be working in the school with these kids? Hmm. I don't know. Down with that heart. Watch out for a stupid cat as well. Yeah, there we go. Where are you, you sneaky slime? I'll catch you. Yes, I will. I like we uh, actually whispers his spell. I wish you'd do that for the entire game. Stick of here in Flapendo and Alamora and that. And Guardian and what have you. And all the spell names. <laughs> oh, yeah. when you've cast a spell or something, so you'll run through that particular place. <laughs> no, no, I want to quickly bugger off. Now, how can I get up there? Well, you do it the same way you got up there before, mate. Oh, why is right behind me? Oh, so he caught me. <sighs> Gotta put you back here. I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. Words can't describe how much I hate this bit. It's bullshit, is what it is. You can often find yourself having to redo long bits of it because. Because it's pure shite. Let's call it what it is. It's pure shite. In fact, I'll be honest with you. I've always had a hatred for stealth sections in video games. Always. Outside of an actual stealth game. Now, how can I get up there? I love. Hitman and Splinter Cell, Metal Gear, as much as the next person, you know, which are always the stealth games. 
particularly obviously spun itself. Bang it, man. I, I, I just hate stealth in non stealth games when they just put these horrible sections in. I've always hated them since I was a kid. I just find them incredibly frustrating, incredibly tedious, boring. Someone else feel the same way? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I remember an example I really hated was, I think it was Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. It stuck a lot of stealth sections in those, and I remember absolutely hating them. Unnecessary. What's that? This is how he caught me last time, innit? His pedo sensors are tingling! That's what's going on right there. Come on, he's clearly a pedophile. Let's call him what he is. Alright. Where is he? Where is he? I'm not doing this again. Where is he? He's just gonna pop out out of nowhere, isn't he? You know, he's just around one of these corners. Where's he buggered off? He's buggered off, hasn't he? Oh, there he is. I'll catch you, and when I do, you regret it. What's Phil just doing anyway? Is he even a wizard? Is he just a pedo caretaker? What is his story? I don't, don't know. I mean, I really can't remember the books. So I can't really go off to movies and eat. He ain't got a wonder, oh, has he? It's just him and his cat. Safe point here, game, because I think I'm redoing that. I mean, this shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. He's, he's, he's wearing an invisibility clock, he's, he's freaking invisible. He can go where he wants. What's that, Harry? Grab on, mate. He's having a laugh, isn't he? I hate these other games. Uh, like the auto grab mechanic. You could never trust it, could you? You really can. Something that works a lot better now in modern games, but these older games. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ari. This, this section is so dragged out. Oh god, he's right there. Help. It's the bit with the bridge here it is, okay. Um You can distract him, you can break those um, bars of sky. You can bugger off. Gets the bridge solid. Oh, and he's gonna run across it. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. No jokes on him, because I'm going in that tower. So, you know what I mean? I don't care what he has to say. Oh, you get this. Give me a hint there. Oh, it's babes! You'll be banished for this. No, will he? That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. from here. Oh, yeah. What's that? yeah, 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 yeah. Mugged him right off there. Look at that. See you later, Felch. Ron's brother, Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Do you know whose fault this is? Well, this is Agrid's, because this is his dragon we're getting rid of. Why can't he get rid of it? Why, they, why can't they just come and took it from his hut? Why have we got to climb a pissing tower? What's going on? Really? What is going on? And I've got to make his way all the way back. <laughs> He's got his freaking cat. His stupid little cat. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. Let's check the library, my sweet. I'm not being funny, but he's clearly fought that cat, hasn't he? Not really, he has. I'm just staying the obvious here, but come on. It's just the worst part because of his goddamn cat. Very good at uh, detecting you. I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above.
this. It's gonna You'll jump. not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. The what? The what now? What did he call me? I hurt my feelings. Uh, Mrs. Nobhead's gonna be uh, jumping across all these shelves. Just gonna try and time it so that she's not on one that you're. Uh... Crap! We got she jumped across to these bits. I thought she just walked on the shelves themselves. I was wrong. It's all right. My amazing reflexes saved me there. Checkpoint. Come here. Come here, you. Right. Where are we going now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Intruder. Where is he? What's he doing? The Nicholas. How's the bean collecting? Friend George are up to their usual tricks, I presume. I heard about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what? I ain't got time to be chatting around chatting about with us, do you know what I mean? Be not go down and distract. Belch. I mean it's a laugh, isn't it, really? Uh -huh. I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll uh, regret it. What's uh, 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 yeah. Intruder! Uh, uh, you can't appear any moment, that's the problem with it. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. Where... Intruder. Intruder. I heard it. In the forbidden corridor. I'm not in the forbidden corridor. I'm in the friggin' library, you moron. What's he on about? Is he drunk? You know what I mean? Thirty beans. Oh Jesus! Oh God! The cat's there. Um. Where's it going? I don't jump over here. Oh, okay, I'll jump this way. Go, go, go! Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. 
He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. Yeah, I see, we're still not done. I mean, you think Dumbledore would have taken taken us back to the common room and that, wouldn't you? He bugged off. You just get behind these bits here. Now, for his damn gap, there's four of these things we've got to uh, sort out. One more. This guy's just gonna sit there. 
Alright, they're well, distracted with their uh breaking that. Yeah. Bell for it. Down in there. Cheers to the right, guys. Hey, Harry. Do you have 25 beans for us? I certainly do. <laughs> That's it. That's all the beans we need. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Cheers, lads. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Come on, sure. George. We've got work to do. Who's that? This one. Oh, Rowan or Ravenclaw. So that was the last of the beans we needed for uh, Fred and George here. You really don't need a lot at all. Don't know why there's so many. Searched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. Sit right there. And I think this will do it for this one here. Um, we're actually, I think, very close to the end. I think we're coming to the final section. It's uh, going down uh, to the Philosopher's Stone. So, yeah. Uh, not much left. Thank God that bit's over with, because that's the whole stealth bit filched there. Oh, I wasn't looking forward to that, so thank God that thing's done. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
and I'll see you next time.